Well, hello there. Are you up for one feeding video? Yeah, I bet you are, so let's do one. This one will be special, special in a way because there will be no tarantulas in this video, but I'm still continuing the trend of feeding different animals than from the ones that I fed in previous previous four feeding videos. So in case you missed one of those four videos, there will be a link in the description. And also, I think if you click on that hashtag in the title, hashtag feedweed, it will take you to a list with all the other feedweeds that I did that are from this series of videos. At least I think that that's how that hashtag in the title works. Check it out and you will see. So no tarantulas and no animals that we fed in previous four feeding videos. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, ten, like 15-ish enclosures. Some of them have more animals, some of them not. We will see what we will manage to record. And also, I will try to do some slow motion, but I'm... I don't know. Most of these animals aren't really that fast. And the first clip will also be an update. Technically a feeding video because one is eating, yeah. Here I have giant African land snails and I just want to show you how they are, how they increased in size, like substantially, just like in previous video, they are growing extremely fast. I think this one is the biggest, look. Check out the videos where I got this and you will see a huge difference. It's crazy how fast they are growing, really crazy. And still all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. Still all of them are alive, but I will definitely move them into a bigger box. Maybe even today, we'll see how, how quickly I will record this video. So that's an update on these guys. And the first animal that we will try to feed, this one is outside, so we can try with this. This is the Winnegaroon. You see, it is still fine still alive and kicking although it didn't molt it still didn't molt I don't know what's up with that it's really slow growing when you when you look at it like that but you see super fat super thick hopefully a female I don't know what's better for that and look it is curious about what the hell is going on around here why is there so much light all of a sudden <laughs> let's feed it we don't need the slow motion camera for this one it is not that fast hey here you go Let's see if it will spot it. It is poking with its antennae. Even though technically these aren't antennae, these are actually a pair of front legs that evolved like that. Oh? It sees it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Grab. Grab. <laughs> sorry for messing up that shot, but here it is in all its glory. I definitely need to put this guy into a proper glass enclosure to make like a nice display enclosure and then it will probably just dig and stay inside of its hole the whole time and we won't be able to spot it. So I'm not super hyped about that. That is the exact thing that happened to my desert scorpion, the Arizonensis one. We made a nice enclosure for it and it just buried and that's it. I hope it's alive. <laughs> Let's carry on to the next animal. We fed spiny assassin guys in previous video or two feeding videos ago. Yeah, previous one was with Petzoterias. So we already fed the spiny assassin bugs, but here we have other assassin bugs. Uh, Platimeri species Mombo. I believe that is the name. There is another one. So let's see what this one will say about one, about one worm. You want it? Get it? No? Yes? He's like undecided. Do you maybe prefer a roach? No, but he is following it. You see? Come on, catch it. Catch it. It is escaping. Oh, Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh, did you really drop it? You fool. Look, he dropped the worm. <laughs> you noob. Let's try with the roach. Look. You want this? Oh, more. Oh, come on. Second try. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you are really a fool. Here you go. What was that? He missed. And did you 
You got it? Are you sure you got it? Can I release it? Ah, yeah, you got it. You can see that Roach is like instantly paralyzed. And look, second one is... <laughs> I don't know what it... I don't know, he's just going somewhere. Hey, what do you want? Where are you going? Why are you here? Go, shoo, shoo. But I can give you a roach if you behave. But don't go, stay there. Look, look, here it is. Juicy roach. You missed. That, that's my tweezers. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> Check out his front legs. He's raising them like, I have nothing to do with this. Honestly, I swear. And Mitsa down there, she's not impressed. Mitsa! Mitsa! She does not care. Cats, you know them. Where are the rest of the adults on top? Let's see if we can lure them out. Hello? Is someone hungry? Uh -huh. Oh! Definitely hungry. And I believe I have still like three or four adults under that corn bark. But I think that we got more than enough clips from these guys. So let's move to another enclosure and look who's there. A scorpion and he's like, nope, see you later. Get that light away from me. <laughs> Getting this out of the way. Need to be extra gentle with this because I don't want to scare him. Although he's like in a defense posture. Let's open it. I will put some light, but not too much. Oh, come on. I guess that was too much light. Maybe when we wave with Dubia, he will come out. Hey, Scorpion. Mr. Scorpion, look. There is some roach invading your homeland. You need to defend your homeland. Come on, Asian forest scorpion. Yeah, heterometrous species. Oh, whoa. I was hoping to lure him out, but he just snitched it from me. There he is. Let's try to zoom in on that. We have seen the stinger action. I will take it down. Second, second, second. Yeah, better like this. You see how he grabbed it. Sorry, little Dubia, but I guess it was the end of the road for you. Yeah, he's already munching, you can see down there. You see how he is working with his mm, mandibles? I don't know. But yeah, that would be it. And also, like an update on his enclosure. You see, it still looks pretty, pretty good. The plant is sprouting new leaves here, here and here. And nothing died, even this plant is sprouting new small plants here. All right, let's carry on. Next on the line, no, actually, let's take the, the smaller enclosures. More scorpions. I often see people asking for scorpion feeding videos, so today is your lucky day. Because we will also try to feed the deadly scorpions, you know. These are, if you remember, native Croatian scorpions that I, that I caught. Actually, no, a friend of mine caught them in vacation house. The one that I caught died. And you remember that was a female and she gave birth to a bunch of babies and I still have those babies, majority of them are alive, but I separated them and they are kept in like these boxes and currently I think I have like 15 of them. So I don't know if I will raise them or just give them away, I don't know, for now they are, they are being kept there. This is one, Euscorpius species, let's give him a juicy worm. What do you think, which is more juicy, a worm or a roach? No, 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 don't go now. <laughs> no, the worm is escaping. Usually they behave like if you don't spook them out, they will eat. But if they get spooked, then they will hardly eat. So I don't know if it's spooked or not. But definitely this light is not helping. Let's put another one. If he takes it, I will just move the old one. <laughs> I dropped it on him. Oh, yeah, definitely wants it. Come on, get it. Get it! Mm, that was not cool. Come on, look, the, the worm is returning with vengeance. He's attacking you with his bum. <laughs> this worm is really not the smartest. Oh, 
you got scared there. Let's try with another one. Although the other two I have are under the leaf, so they will probably be spooked now. Usually when it's feeding time I have no problems, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the light and everything. They are not a fan of light. Oh, no. But at least you can see the scorpions. I will just leave the worms inside and they will take them later on when they gather more courage. Let's see what is up with the, with the tiny centipede I got. This will actually be the first time that I'm featuring it in the video after the, after the unboxing. Where it is? Hmm. Oh, it is on the bottom of the... Let me try to show it to you. There, you see, it's moving. Sorry for shaking, my hands are shaky. So since it is buried, I assume it's about to molt, therefore we will not disturb it. But here you go, one update. Let's now take jumping spider. It is really late, it's like 9 or 10 p.m. 9 p.m. And you see the jumping spider is, it made web here. And when it is hunting, it gets out of the web, so it won't be possible to feed it now on the video and usually I just throw a bunch of fruit flies inside and the jumping spider eats them all eventually. I don't really wait for the strikes because it's kind of slow with it, usually hiding. Now let's see if we can get the footage of a deadly scorpions. One is outside. Okay, it doesn't appreciate the light. But will it appreciate? No. Oh. Mr. Scorpion. Yeah, this is why I don't do scorpion feeding videos. They are really light sensitive, but you cannot record, make a nice recording if you don't have enough light. So not a good combination. And the rest aren't even outside. And I know for sure if I remove their hide, then they especially want it. They are really like animals that get stressed really easily. So no, there won't be a deadly scorpion feeding video. But we can feed the beetles. We haven't fed them in a while. And here are the girls. Hello, here we go. Enjoy your worm. You see it immediately goes for it. Strikes, bites, fiercely. They are super fierce animals. The worm is trying but they just... No way. Oh, the other one is curiously looking. Let's give it a, a worm before it attacks the other. Hey, you want a worm? No? Why is the worm not moving? Let's poke it. Oh, got him. <laughs> there we go. Second strike. Immediately starts to munch it. <laughs> a family, look, a family. No, come on. What is that? <laughs> really? You dropped your roach and stole the other one. What the hell is that? <laughs> this one is actually bigger, but like it is afraid of the smaller one. Interesting. Oh, at least it got the other worm now. <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> Again, what is happening? The worm is split in half. This is just pure horror. See you later, crazy bugs. I mean beetles. And I see that this light is going down. Check the difference. Yeah, definitely. And the last enclosure for this video. Yes, it is the ghost mantids enclosure. We still have five alive. Here is one. Down there, if you can see, it's the second one. Here is the third, fourth one here, and last one, oh, up there, five. They molted a few times, but not really that fast when you compare it with giant Asian mantis. They grow much slower, and look, they notice the, the fly. Oh, it was a strike, but too slow. Let's give it a roach. Hey, hey, I have one roach, just for you, if you spot it. 
Roach. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> one down, four to go. Now this one. Don't move. Don't move. Here you go. Want it? I know you want it. Come on, take it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Two down, three to go. Let's get this one on top. It is staring at me. Kinda creepy. Here we go. Hold it. <laughs> nice catch. And there was a fly flying around. So three down, two to go. Let's do this one. But you see how well camouflaged they are. Sometimes it is really hard to spot them. Get it. Get it. Get it. Was that a shoe or a tech? Hum hum. Okay. Not hungry? Let's feed the last one then. It's down there. Not sure if you can spot it. Not interested? It will be the final clip of this video. Although super dark clip. They are more light. Oh, I dropped the roach. Sometimes they refuse food like that. And also, actually this won't be the last clip. I will also include one old clip that I recorded. And it is actually a chips feeding video. And I don't know if you noticed, but this clip is used in the, the new Dark Den intro. There was a really short segment of chips attacking the, the roach and it was taken from this actual clip. So there you go. Now you can see the clip in its own glory. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye-bye.